Hi Star Wars fans and welcome to a new video. Well this one, as you can see, is all about a book and the book is called Rogue Leaders, The Story of LucasArts. But you guys can read that so you don't really need me to tell you things like that. Um, I'll start with the cover because there's a really cool four image lenticular cover uh, which is absolutely fantastic. I'll just take you through it nice and slowly. There you go. Which is, and I'm sure you will agree, is a pretty cool cover. And uh, well, well, the book itself was um, published in 2008 by Chronicle Books. Um, I've put the ISBN number for any of you guys that want to find it, and uh, I've put that into the description. So um, check that out. And uh, I'll take you through a few pages in the book. I'm not going to do the whole book. There's um, 255 pages um, so if you like the look of it get the book but um, yeah there's some um, divided up into eight chapters and uh, it tells the story of LucasArts from 1982 its conception right through till 2008 and uh, that's when the book was published um, the forward as it says here the forward is by George Lucas but um, I'm guessing in 2008 he was probably thinking about his future with Lucasfilm and Lucasfilm's future and all the companies involved. Um, so, but who knew that uh, <laughs> within five years Lucasfilm would have been sold to Disney and LucasArts would have been shut down and possibly never to um, work again. But, um, you yeah. know. These these things couldn't have been seen, really, could they? Coming. Um, so um, anyway, let's not get, get maudling it too sad. Let's have a look inside the book. Here you go. There's um, the page with all the uh, the publication details. So we are in stunning HD right here. So it's be nice and clear for you. There is the ISBN there. I'm going to put it in the description as well. Anyway. And uh, so, if you want to get hold of this, I do recommend it. It's a very nice. It's by, it's by Chronicle Books. So uh, Chronicle Books. So um, as you can imagine, like their other books, very good quality. It's about 11 inches by 9 inches, and for just over an inch in thickness, 255 pages, um, divided up into eight chapters. Here's the chapter chapter titles really interesting part I'll show you in a bit will be the timeline and also the unreleased Star Wars game logos which is pretty cool and uh, there might be a hint of um, the episode 7 movie title in there as well but uh, right, let's move on well here's the foreword by the man himself George Lucas and um, as I said we are in HD so you can pause and read at your leisure. Um, so I will give you the whole of the full of George Lucas's forward. So pause this and have a read. And okay, let's start over again. There we go. Quite interesting that um, George ends on and this is only the beginning. So, yeah, five years later, close down. Right, so the um, chapters are split up, I'd say, into eight different chapters. And the book itself, it covers each of the games produced. And it also 
covers the production, the development behind LucasArts, the people involved. It's just, it's just a real, it's just an absolutely, you know, fantastic book. If you're into LucasArts, it's a, you know, fantastic book for you, and it's something I completely recommend. There's chapter two, adventure and simulation. So I'm not going to go through page by page. Um, chapter three, birth of the classics. That covers 1990 through to 1993. Then chapter four, shooting for the stars, which covers ninety three through to ninety five, and then we have chapter five, buried treasure, which covers ninety five through to ninety eight. It's not all about the Star Wars games they produced because they did produce. I will show you in the timeline in a little bit. There's a lot more than. A lot more to LucasArts than the Star Wars games. And in here you've got a lot of pre-production sort of sketches, lots of lots of storyboards. So if you want to see what went into some of the games. That's um Superb Book, Chapter 7, Developing Without Walls, which covers 2001 through to 2007. Nice Lego production pictures. And then chapter eight, the next generation. So this is not 2008 and onwards. There's some really nice artwork in here as well. Uh, this is something particular. This is. Um, some concept artwork by of a damaged Vader. This is by Stephen Chang. You may be aware of his work already, but if not, he's worth checking out for his um, this really superb Star Wars related work. Right, this is the thing, well, one of the things I like most about this book. You've got the timeline. So there's each of the, I think it's 99, you can count it up, 99 different games, or is it 100? could be 100. 100 different games that uh, LucasArts produced from um, 1982 through to 2008. So, uh, what I'll do is, I'll just scroll down, and you can have a look at the names, look at the title of the game, you can pause this and you'll be able to see the detail that went into the games here, what platforms they were available on. Nineteen eighty eight. As um, Lucas Arts grew and as time passed, which I'm sure you're aware they became more Star Wars centric, they became, the games they were producing were more Star Wars based and it was more of a rarity if they produced something that wasn't Star Wars based. But it's nice as the packaging artwork it looks really good. So, I mean, this is this is a great book, even if if you're just interested in the history of gaming. You don't have to be a Star Wars fan for this book. So you can pause this at any point. Go on, 
1993. Manic Mansion. Sam and Max hit the road. Zombies ate my neighbor. Some quite classic games tucked away in here. And on to I don't actually have my collection, is the, the Star Wars Yoda stories. I'm sure, that'd be reasonably easy to find on eBay. And 98 and 99. That's for the timeline the last page, starting with 2000 and 2001. It's going to be quite interesting to see if Disney decides to reopen LucasArts, Disney do their own, their own thing, so some people say it's unlikely, some people say mm, you never know, but the way Disney are behaving at the moment I think it's kind of unlikely. What they're doing at the moment seems to be like they're asset stripping Lucasfilm taking out the best of their tech and uh, closing down as much stuff as they don't well they see that they don't need and like any big company it's all about the money it's not about the employees and it's not about the fans of the work which is a shame but unfortunately it's business Disney have done it before to other companies, so but I never thought they'd actually be able to do it to Lucasfilm. But, yeah, George wanted to retire. And finishing there on two thousand and eight. And the story continued, but for not too much longer. Right. Let's move on. This is the some nice, there's some, yeah, there's some really nice features in the book. I do completely recommend that. But um, these are some of the unused Star Wars game logos. There we go. There we go. Just to focus. There we go. So uh, just take you through these. Some of these games, there would have been a little bit of a little bit of info out there about what you know. They went slightly beyond the um, logo stage, and others just got as far as a name. Now that could be interesting. Star Wars Episode Seven: Shadows of the Sith. Mm, someone else has already suggested this could be the title for um, the upcoming Episode Seven. Uh, I don't think it will be. Why 
Rise of the Rebellion. That could have been a great game. Could have been a great movie too. Star Wars Rebel Agent. Rebel Fury. And Jedi Hunter. That could have been a really good game. I guess we're never going to know now. Jedi Outlaw. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And, um, yeah, it's kind of a, uh, I don't know, a double edged sword this video. It's um, a great video because, oh well, a great video. Yeah, the book is a great book. You make your own minds up about the video. Um, it's a great book because you think, oh, fantastic. It's like the history of Lucas Arts. And, um, you think, oh, but. Then before you get to the end of the book, and this tells you that oh, this is just the beginning, um, you're thinking, oh, actually, we know the outcome. We know these guys are all closed up now. So, um, but you never know. Disney may reopen the doors to Lucas Arts. Um, fingers crossed. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and as always, may the force be with you. Bye for now.